New York's James Chant and the Contortions put on an excessive emotional display at a recent Toronto concert that brought comparisons to James Brown. The front man for the band was a skinny white kid who not only sounded like the Soul King, but played burning alto sax. James Chance has been convincing the New York rock scene that black is beautiful. Ever since watching James Brown go through his paces, the King of Soul has been Chance's idol. I mean, I don't think that anyone has gone beyond the rhythm that James Brown has. You know, people like David Byrne, uh, well, I mean, not to single him out, but I really feel that a, a lot of the people who are getting into this stuff now, you know, they wouldn't have been able to do it if it wasn't for me. I was doing it first. I was the first one to bring music to the new wave scene. music myself it's it's too laid back for americans you know i mean that's the thing i always didn't like about reggae was a tempo it's just always too slow for me and i think you know most um american black people feel the same way i mean they want to hear something that like pops you know It's been said that old twisters never die.